Sup Ninjas, it's Poir, and this morning, Capcom just released a new trailer for Title Update 2. We got a release date, three new monsters, and finally, layered weapons will be added. Woo! So let's dive right into it. As we know, we're getting Flaming Espinaz in the Forlorn Arena. Don't have to talk about this too much since it was the first teased monster. However, there has been new gameplay from TGS from various attendees. So if you want to see a full hunt, you can check out a link to a video to a full hunt against it in the pinned comment. Next, we finally got the second new monster, Mizu, which is yet again another fire monster, but we kind of already knew this. Violet Mizutsune splashes onto the scene with bubbles that burst into flames. So our third Mizu for Rise, regular Apex, and now Violet. But very excited to fight it. Hopefully its gear becomes the fire meta, if not Espinaz. Seems we can fight this Mizu in that one arena where you can fight a ton of Apexes and base rise. So nice to get a change of scenery from Forlorn. It's mostly a color change, so not too much to comment about. And it's fire Mizu, but hey, it's purple. <laughs> the most surprising reveal, though, was Risen Camellios. Finally, a new cami sub slash variant slash whatever this is classified as. It now has orange glowing parts on it, much like the rest of Sunbreak for some reason, but doesn't seem to be a change in elements, so expect a very tough poison fight ahead. It seems to be in normal maps too, which means no rainbow spear bird like the other new variants, which should automatically make it way tougher. Sick, can't wait to fight it. Dude, cami. Finally. <laughs> How, how long has it been? And if there's no serious change in elements, its raw weapons might become meta, like Rise's base cami did when it was introduced, if that's anything to go by. But that depends if the weapons get a raw or sharpness upgrade, or if they will just lean more into poison. We'll see. Of course, with all three, we'll be getting new sets, so chances to mix up builds as well, much like Silver, Gold, and Narg did. And hopefully, there better be Gunlance level 8s this time, right chat? <laughs> So, those are our three monsters. In addition, we're getting new afflicted monsters as mentioned, with the anomaly research cap raised to 120 instead of 100. And among the new monsters were Rajang, Fire Kadaki, and Gore, which were shown among them. So, I wonder what they meant by powered up monsters. Did that just mean these afflicted monsters, or was it solely meant for Kami? Which would be interesting if it did, as then the next DLC will also have a powered up monster, presumably an Elder Dragon 2. But the new afflicted materials from these fights will likely give us the mats that allow us to upgrade our armor's defense, so perfect to counter all the negative defense stuff everyone has from augmenting. New event quests as per usual, and layered weapons being possible, dude. The new afflicted and maybe some of the new monster parts will likely be used for this. I can now finally use Astalos layered weapons, which I think are really cool, and still be meta. So sick. They also revealed a pay to win layered weapon DLC if you want to stand out amongst the crowd, which makes sense. Other games did this kind of stuff, bound to happen here. Layered weapons, but DLC that you have to buy. <laughs> and to wrap it up, the DLC is set for September 29th, so two weeks from now. And we also have the date for the third update, which is going to be in November. And that is the update. Pretty girthy if I do say so myself. I was expecting layer to be in DLC 3. So it being now is a nice surprise. Probably going to have to make new gear for augmenting depending on the new sets. But we got content, boys and girls. Too bad. No pickle. Dang, where's he at? But that's all the things we were shown. If you're excited for title update 2, lick that like button like Cammy does. Comment down below your thoughts on the update. I'll be streaming the update and make builds as soon as possible when it releases. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Sunbreak Epicness.